So, it's always good to start a video out with a bait. Jamie, JC West here. So, uh, nothing special. Provari White Mini Green LED with a uh, with the logo smudging off of it. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, got some juice in from Illusions. Really good stuff. Uh, lemon, berry, something or other. But anyway, that's not what this is about. So. So, what we're doing today, this is not a review, this is more of a tutorial. Um, I had like six Penelope's and I got rid of three of them yesterday on the classes and, uh, and one of the guys asked me if I would please do a pre-build on it because he's, he's never done it before and uh, wanted me to do it, it, it he didn't want. I, I volunteered to do a video to uh, show him how I do a, a coil on a Penelope, so that's what this is about. How JC West does a Penelope coil. Here we go. So this is just how I do it. Um, my buddy Bishop, I'm sure he's Bishop Heels. He's going to watch this and <clears throat> probably want to crucify me because I tell you that guy is like the GG God. And uh, he showed me how to do this. And I, I do use most of his stuff, but I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. So what you want to start out with is two pieces of non-resistance wire, a piece of resistance wire. And I start out with two pieces of wick. So uh, to start... <clears throat> I always cut, cut them a little longer than they need to be just to give myself room to work when I start wrapping. So I'm just going to take a, a piece of resi non-resistance wire and a piece of resistance wire and I'm going to start twisting them together. I start by hand and then I move to tweezers. Tweezers or needle nose or just kind of whatever you got. And don't worry, we're going to trim this excess off. We're just making sure we got plenty of room to work. Okay. We got a good sealed junction point. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take my resistance, my non-resistance wire, and I'm going to give it three loops right at the junction, really tight. Give it a good tug to seat them. And we're going to just trim off the excess. At the end of the junction. So what you should be left with is a piece of resistance wire and a piece of non-resistance wire with a good and tight junction. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is where you, where you get the resistance of your actual coil. This is 32 gauge canthal, so I know, um, you know, about about an just under an inch, just a shade under an inch is going to give me somewhere around a 1.2, 1.3 ohm coil. So what I'm going to do is that's where I'm going to take my next piece of non-resistance wire and cross them. Now you can test this with a multimeter. What you would do is you would put your negative on this junction point, and then you would put your positive and move it down this wire. As you moved it down the wire, the resistance would increase. So you can just, you know, put a clip here and say a clip here, and it'll tell you what the resistance is right there. If you want more resistance, move down a little bit. If you want less resistance, move it in a little bit. So, you know, <clears throat> I, I don't do it, but, you know, if somebody wants to get that scientific on, on getting an exact coil resistance, you, you can do it that way. So, but I'm going to shoot for, you know, about an inch of 32 gauge, would it be a, a pretty decent sized coil, a decent coil to, to vape on. Just about anything, 1.2, 1.3, so 
I'm going to go about right there, and then I'm going to crimp it. That tells me where I'm going to start my junk, my next junction. So I'm just going to take my non-resistance wire, put it in that junction, and start to twist. So I start it by hand, and then get the pliers. and continue to twist it. And the purpose of this is just to get it nice and tight so it doesn't come apart, doesn't move around. Got our junction. We're going to take our positive, grab it with your fingernails. Three loops. One, two, three. Make sure you get it good and seated, nice and tight. And now you can trim off your excess. Now we've got two. Actually, this is going to be a little lower than I thought, but it is 32 gauge wire, so it'll be a little more. I generally do a coil like this with 30 gauge wire because I like to try to get you know down to like 0.8 ohms or something like that on a battery, <clears throat> a single battery. Um, but this being 32, this will be a little higher than it would be with uh, with the 30. So. Next thing I do is I take my two wicks, I center it, center the top wick on it, <clears throat> and I start the wrap. Now I'm not worried about the first coil, because the first coil is never tight. It's from the second coil on is whenever I get tight. So one, one, two, two, come back to my first coil. Good even spacing. And there you go. That is a completed coil. So all we got now to do is put it on. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do <clears throat> is you want to loosen this uh, this nut. I put my fingernail on that top knurled nut that it runs into at the positive, and that allows me to hold it in place while I back the other one up. Just take it, put it down in there, push it down guys. Now, the one that's going down, the, the, the lead that's going down the, uh, the ceramic channel, that is for your positive. So the, what the ceramic channel does is it's keeping the wire from, from grounding against the body. So the first one, you want to go down the ceramic channel, around the knurled, the, well, around the post, and then tighten up the knurled nut. After you've done that, this little bit of wire we're just going to trim off. The negative, we're going to cut it off just, you know, kind of even with the, the bottom there. Down in the channel, we want to cover the wire. with the wick. So now the negative wire is grounded against the negative the channel the, the, the channel that doesn't have any ceramic on it. Pause on the positive side again we're just going to cover that up. Make sure everything's nice and neat. Nothing's exposed anywhere. Now we can go ahead and trim off our positive and trim off our wick. I cut the wick just a shade above the o-ring because the o-ring actually sits on the bottom of the base. And that's it. So next thing to do is just put the base on.
I just got the base here. I mash these in real good so they don't end up getting caught up in the threading. You just want to turn it till that bottom post starts to come out the bottom. If you find out you have too much airflow, or, or I'm sorry, that you've got too much of a gap, like I'll put it on a Pravari here to show you. When you put it on here, if you find out you've got too much of a gap, <clears throat> you would just back it up a little bit. Now that's, that's actually enough, it may not look like it, but that's enough airflow for a Pravari, but if you went a little deeper with it, it just increases the size of that gap. So I'm just gonna actually leave it right there. So that's the base on. Next thing I do is I kind of trim up the second wick. Give it a haircut. Now this used to be the grounding nut back before the, uh, the negative center channel. Um, now I guess, I really don't understand really the function of it now other than I guess to be the base for the mouthpiece. Uh, it used to be the nut that held the grounding wire. So, see what our resistance is. 1.7, 1.8. This must have been 34 gauge wire. There we go, now we're starting to settle down. That's what I thought. 1.6. No. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's burn it a little bit. With that resistance, we'll easily be able to burn it somewhere. Yeah, 4-1 would be fine to start. There we go. She's all, they're all glowing nice. Only thing you do next is, and I'm not going to put juice on this because uh, I told the fellow that I would just do the, do the build for him and, and send it to him. So um, whenever you see this video, just uh, from there what you would do, I guess, is you would drip juice on it. Drip a few drops of whatever juice you're going to use. You would screw down your mouthpiece. The body. You would fill it through here, cap on, ready to go. So <clears throat> beyond that, that's uh, that's how you put a coil on a Penelope. Be right back. So that's how I put a coil on a Penelope. There are many, many different ways to do it. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description of my buddy Bishop Hill's channel. He's the like the Penelope Odysseus. He's just the man at it. Um, but, uh, but that's how I do it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you have any questions. I generally respond to comments, um, every comment before I would respond to a forum. So uh, that's what I got. That's the Penelope. That's how I do a coil on it. Be strong, babe, on JC West. See you again next time.